Oak branch leaves. I used four patterns from the original master branch before the leaves got a chance to crinkle up and turn to powder. This copper was part of the deal. They wanted copper. And of course I get to keep what's left over. Originally I thought they wanted the whole tree out of copper, which I didn't even think would look good. I mean, you'd have to hide the seams and I don't know. If I could unroll this without it slicing my fingers. This has something to do with roofing, roofing copper. I didn't know if it was partially annealed, fully annealed. So I did throw it on the forge and then quenched it. And it picked up a nice oxide color, which later worked to its advantage and gave it a nice, all the leaves are really nice, like fall color. My idea was to just fold this up like an accordion and cut it either with um, hand nippers or a gizmo I bought to cut sheet metal. Turns out the hand nippers weren't even going to come close. And the nippers, or the uh, gizmo, I couldn't get everything into the throat to cut. So I ended up having to chisel out, uh, I think, either three or four at a time. And it went surprisingly well. Just trying to get a good a good measurement for the average leaf size so I can fold these over. Of course if I was gonna do this again, I wouldn't quite do it the same way, but this is a blunt chisel used more for pressing and pushing than cutting. My table that I made, very handy. I think it's a piece of railroad plate with a stub welded on it so I can stick it in my anvil hardy hole. Very sturdy, solid. It's a lot better than trying to use the vise for everything. Every time I wanted to use the vise, I'd have to take this plate out, then put it back, and that plate's not white. There we go. One, two, three. Three folds. That was a good idea. I mean, Equipment. There we go. Yeah. Just too thick. Kind of neat how it came out so even when all I did was measure one leaf width. This is a nice quick way to mark it if you know you're going to get rid of the paint later. Too big. I believe on that one I actually cut out later. Just on a, like a separate scrap piece. I mean, you can mark these out however you want. I just thought it would be handy and quick to use paint, and it was. 
That's really fast drying paint. That's my shoulder. So after discovering it was too thick, I then went and chiseled some of it down. And I'm just going to chisel them out. Chisel cut them. It, it surprisingly went very quick. Now I did forge, I don't, I don't know if I have one here or not. Yeah, it, you know, it seemed to work best with a cape chisel. Um, but I did, at one point I forged a, a round end chisel. Just to, specifically for fitting in that, the inside of the leaf there. And I went to use it, and I don't know where it's at. No idea where it's at. I I remember forging it, and I quit for the day. It should have been laying somewhere near the anvil. Don't know where it's at. I have to make a new one, I guess. Because that I I've done it before with that chisel, a chisel like it, and. Uh, it really speeds up cutting out the insides. Thanks for watching.